Hey everyone, I'm Alan Stark and welcome to the first episode of How to Make Your Own Animation versus Animator the Easiest Way. If you've ever thought, wow, animators must have some sort of superpowers, well, you're kind of right. But today, I'm spilling all the secrets, no magic needed. Whether you've never opened an animation program before or just want to get better, you're in the right spot. So grab your mouse, maybe a coffee, and let's jump into the world of stick figures and epic showdowns. By the end of this, you'll be ready to animate like a pro, or at least like a stick figure champ. So let's do this. Oh, and look who's joining us from the start. It's Zesty. That's right, this Zesty little stick figure is here to help out. Say hi, Zesty. Perfect timing, Zesty. I'm sure you're gonna make this even more fun. Just a quick heads up. Don't move around too much, all right? We wanna keep things smooth and efficient. All right, let's get started. And hey, did I mention that this whole tutorial series is totally free? Yeah, that's right, so do me a favor, hit that like button, drop a comment, and share the video. My dog's hungry, and well, food costs money. All right, all right, moving on. First things first, I'm gonna introduce you to all the software we'll be using in this tutorial and in the upcoming ones. Number one, Moho. This is the main tool we'll be working with. It's one of the best software out there for creating animations with some of the simplest methods. Now there are tons of animation software options and it really comes down to what you prefer. For example, Adobe Animate is a powerful tool that some amazing animators like Alan Becker use to create mind-blowing animations. But be warned, mastering Adobe Animate can take months or even years of practice. It's top-notch, but not the easiest. On the other hand, with Moho, you'll see just how easy it is to create awesome animations with just a few clicks. Number two, LightShot. This tool is perfect for taking screenshots of your entire screen or just part of it. Like right now, I'm hovering over Google Chrome, hitting the print screen button and capturing that scene with the Chrome logo highlighted. You can save it or copy it to your clipboard. It's totally free and super handy for making animation versus animator videos. Number three, Wondershare Filmora and CapCut. I'm mentioning these together because they do pretty much the same thing. We'll use them for editing some parts of our video, adding sound and applying effects like explosions and other cool stuff. So that's all the software you'll need for this course. Now, let's check out what you'll be able to create by the end of this course. Meet Zesty. By the end of this course, you could have a buddy like Zesty right on your screen, bringing your animations to life. Stick with me and you'll be creating awesome characters just like him. All right, let's open up Moho. And as you can see, when you open Moho, the workspace pops up with all the tools we need. Let's start by getting familiar with the layout. Yeah, I know, you're excited too. But remember, no unnecessary movements, okay? We're trying to keep this quick. Okay, let's break down the workspace. Tools panel on the left. This is where all your drawing and editing tools are. It's like your artist's toolbox. Thanks, that's the one. See, you're already helping. Canvas in the middle. This is where all the action happens. It's your digital sketchbook where you'll create your animations. Layers panel on the right. Each part of your animation, like characters or backgrounds, gets its own layer here. It's super useful for keeping things organized. Exactly, layers keep everything neat and tidy. Timeline at the bottom. This is where you'll control the timing of your animation. Each layer has its own timeline, so you can control when things start and stop. Okay, now it's time to start a new project. Click on File, New. And now we've got a fresh canvas. Don't forget to save your project. Go ahead and name it. Perfect, now let's draw something. All right, let's use some basic tools. Draw Shape Tool. Click and drag on the canvas to create a shape like a circle. Now let's move that shape. Transform Tool. Use this to move or resize your shape. Now let's add some color. Time to make that shape pop with some color. One, select the Fill Tool. Two, pick a color from the color box. Three, click on your shape to fill it. Let's animate it real quick. One, move to frame one on the timeline. Two, use the Transform Tool to place the shape where you want it. Three, move the timeline marker to frame 30 and drag your shape to a new position. Four, hit the play button and watch it move. Well done, you just made your first animation. And that's the basics of Moho. 
Big thanks to Zesty here for the help. Couldn't have done it without you. But wait, we're not done just yet. I've got a little surprise for you guys. You've met Zesty and you've learned the basics of Moho, but in the next video, we're going to create something special together. How would you like to create your very own stick figure character? That's right. Next time, we'll design and animate a brand new stick figure from scratch. And who knows, maybe Zesty will get a new friend. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment if you're as excited as Zesty here is. See you in the next one.